Hey everybody, welcome back to the Suikoden 4 walkthrough. Uh, we are just picking her back up here in Middleport. Looks like I must have saved at the inn here. And uh, I think, if I remember right here, I'm going to go take a look at the uh, the trading shop and uh, buy, buy some stuff. Because that's what I like to do. I like to do with my money. Um, and the only thing I'm not a hundred percent sure on was if uh, if you could sell these pearls here um, for like a better price in Razril. I don't remember. I don't remember if Raz does Razril even have a trading post. Gosh, I can't remember. It's been so long since I played this. Uh, but it does look like I bought some of the like you see you can see there the bad iron ore and the bad gold ore. And again, um, if you if you hadn't uh, watched the other videos, or I guess even if you have, the the idea behind that is that uh, basically I want to build up a stock of that bad, you know, bad iron ore, bad gold ore, bad wool, um, and then I forget the I forget the last one there. But um, basically, I buy up as much as I can get. I'll probably buy like a stack of ninety or something like that, and you know that's a pretty. There you go. Those four at the top there. It's a pretty significant uh, cost, you know, to it. But um, I do so much extra, like side leveling and just, um, just getting cash in general, that uh, it doesn't really affect me much. Uh, if if you're not doing that, if you're not going out of your way to make a bunch of extra money to to throw around, then don't bother with that, especially not at this point in the game. Um, <clears throat> but anyways, long story short, is those uh, those items will. What we'll end up doing later is once we get a decent supply of those, we'll actually end up selling those back to the the uh, the trader, and uh, and then it'll kind of I guess like upgrade it to the next tier. So then you'll be able to buy the, you know whatever I believe it's just called like iron ore, you know, and then there's eventually there's good iron ore, uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, I don't remember the exact names, you know. We'll we'll end up getting there once uh, I guess in a while, but um. Uh, make sure you explore this Gaian ship. Um, did I, I? I think I missed that treasure chest there, but I thought I thought there was a treasure map uh, uh, in here. Uh, it, maybe not. Maybe maybe this was just uh, like junk consumables. I'm not. I'm not sure. But um, generally, every time you get onto a, like a new uh, ship, that's that's going to be a good idea. You're going to want to um, to explore. Um, just because I know there are a couple of hidden uh, items like uh, like that, uh, you know, tre treasure map specifically. Uh, and there are a couple of these ships that you will not be able to get back to once you've left. So again, every time, you know, you end up on one of these, these ships, make sure you explore it. It's just going to be a, a good idea. And, uh, you know, again, let's... Once we actually get to some of the other ones, I'll you know I'll definitely try to try to point out when to to get off and explore. Otherwise, I would not be very good at doing walkthroughs, would I? Although I guess I don't claim to be, but I I will do do the best I can. <clears throat> uh, so I guess here we're just gonna get into I'm guessing a few. A few random battles once we're on our way back to back to the Razzle port. Um, but yeah, uh, being that we're on our way, I'll just guess, uh, I guess I'll talk about it a little bit. Uh, like you know, I, I know there's a lot of people that have uh, you know kind of kind of hate on this game a little bit, but and it and it definitely does have its uh, its weak points or uh, you know maybe maybe some things that I don't necessarily like about it, but. I do feel like that they they added a lot of uh, a lot of good stuff to it, and they have improved um, uh, a lot on the the some of the things that I didn't like from other you know previous games. They it feels like they really did a good job in in um, alleviating some of those issues. Notably, the I, I love the um, the teleporting and uh, the cloudy. Is it the cloudy mirror? No, I'm, I think I think I'm thinking of Final Fantasy. The Blinking Mirror, I think that is the name of it in this game. Um, but that'll, you know, that'll teleport you back to, back to the ship. And uh, and this just, uh, you know, uh, 
it, maybe moving around at the beginning of the game is a little cumbersome, but it will it will definitely get a lot better, you know, later on in the game once we once we have unlocked uh, you know items and characters. So you know, just uh, I guess keep that in mind if you're frustrated with the, the you know the overall movement in this game. I guess uh, maybe I guess I'd say stick with it, and hopefully you will. Uh, hopefully that issue will be alleviated. Um, so here, just uh, checking out the, the item shop. It looks like the no new bargain items. So, you know, unfortunately, nothing, nothing new there. Do, 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 do. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's head on over here to the Hollow Knights. There we go. Definitely like there is a little little storyline business coming up here. Alright. Lord Vingerhut and Glen. Alright. This looks like we've got a new mission here. Here we have Ramada. The Knight of Gaian. Alright, so obviously Ramada is a bit concerned about uh, giving this mission to what it, it would appear to be just kids. <clears throat> so, uh, looks like we're going to be guiding Ramada to Iluya. Iluya? I, I think that's how I'm going to say it. I don't, I don't know if that's how... That city is actually pronounced, but that's how I'm going to do it. So, I apologize if that's incorrect. But I... I don't know. That's what it looks like to me. <laughs> so, Lord Vingerhut here is already showing his... Uh, mm, I don't know. I don't know. He's... He wants his son to do, uh, I guess, what it would appear to be, uh, you know, greater deeds. You know, I think he's, <laughs> he's just like, oh, just send him to the front lines. You know, I think he should be, you know, commanding a battalion of hardened soldiers or something. You know, I don't, he's just, um, I don't know if I'd say he's overconfident in his son. Maybe that is, maybe that's an accurate description, but it, it looks like, or may, maybe it just feels like he's, you know, he thinks his son is entitled you know, even though he's, you know, completely unproven. Maybe, maybe it'll green around the gills, as some would say. But, um, you know, he just, I don't know. He's ready to throw his son into whatever. For glory and for the family name, I suppose. Oh, I'm going to go check on the ship. Um, so Let's Snow's going to go on. check on okay. a ship. See ya. Meet up later. All right, sounds like a plan, buddy. I like how their their armor looks so shoddy. <clears throat> All right. Uh, I don't think we can take off right now. Yeah, it's not looking like that dude's gonna let us on the ship, so we'll just do do a little cruising around in town. I forget all the the uh, events that are supposed to be happening right now. I guess we'll find out in short order here. Here we are. So here we have Akagi, I think. I'm going to I think that's how I'm going to say his name. And Mizuki. Um Gosh, as far as these two go, I don't really like them in this game. I don't really like the ninjas, actually any of There's 3 of them and I don't like any of the 3. Um and I'm not really sure why. Uh, they just don't, they didn't, they never felt like they were that useful in combat, I guess. 
So, uh, you know, I guess, yeah, we'll just leave it at that. I didn't really feel that they were, they were all that great. But, uh, you know, that isn't to say that you shouldn't use them, especially if you, if you like, you know, if they like, a, if they, they've got an attack or something that you like, then go right ahead. But, uh, they never really found a whole lot of, uh, they found a whole lot of playtime in my parties. <clears throat> All right, checking on the armor shop again. I'm guessing I'm going to look at the bargain items. Yup. All right, nothing there still. There's snow again. All right, so it looks like that's all we had to do was go, go see what Akagi and Mizuki had to say. Then I believe we head back to the audience chamber here. At least we'll find out. We'll see if I was right here. The good thing about, you know, Razzroll and stuff is the, these areas aren't all that big. So even if uh, if you kind of get lost, you know, as far as where you're at or supposed to be at in the story, it, uh, it's not that difficult to find your way because, again, you know, these... These areas are not that big. Alrighty, let's head to, uh, head to, I believe it's, yep, Aluya. Boy, that is uh, quite a ways away. Here I accidentally got a little too close to the, the pier. And that's what happens. Snow just kind of scolds you. Hey, we're not done yet. Let's, let's get back to it, buddy. So, my bad. We've got a little equipment shop, and I don't know. I don't think that guy has any bargain items ever. Uh, I could be wrong, but uh, that was my impression is that he never had any. And I don't. I think this is still considered the Gaian ship, so um, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but there should have been that that chest that we already opened inside there. So you know, back to the hole. Oh, I think, is that a guy? I think you can spar with that guy or something. Maybe you do a little training, I guess, if you feel like it. <clears throat> Which again, you know, I don't, I don't feel like that's worth, worth the time at all. Um, you know, and for the exact reasons that, uh, that I talked about in one of the other guys, is those, those soldiers don't ever don't seem to have anything, you know, decent, like, that you would want to, I guess, farm, you know, item-wise and whatnot, so, you know, again, I don't know, it didn't really feel like it was, it was that useful to, uh, to farm them, and, uh, looks like I, just making sure I'm heading the right way, I don't know that it matters, I think, um, you know, if I remember, I, you, you end up, uh, you end up kind of just getting, uh, you, you go a certain amount of distance and then uh, kind of like an event happens. So it doesn't, I don't think it really matters, you know, how, if you deviate or make a straight line for, you know, a beeline for Iluya or not. I don't think it matters one bit. Hmm. 
<sighs> Plenty of random battles here on the way. I'm surprised we don't have Tao and uh, Kenneth with. Maybe that was... Maybe they did that for storyline reasons. I'm not sure. Be my guess anyway. You know, it just seems kind of like... Kind of like something that they would do. <coughs> Here we go. Looks like I finally got far enough. So, uh, you know, like I said, once you once you've traveled far enough here, here, this there's a good breeze too. Scene starts. So we should be fine. Hey. That Mr. Ramada, he said that Ramada his cargo, his was, cargo spiced, was spices, didn't, he? didn't he? Actually, I managed to catch a glimpse of Mr. Ramada's yeah. cargo before we departed from right? the port. There were containers of rune cannon rune ammunition. Rune cannon ammo. Really big ones at that. Really big ones I've at that. I've never seen anything like them. They had to be at least five to ten times larger than the ones we okay. used. So it sounds like we're, if you got we're carrying around some pretty, like that, even a single shot pretty could huge, sink a galleon. huge ammo. Wow, a, sh a single shot could sink a galleon. That's, it's pretty impressive. Do you think we're gonna be okay? <laughs> so Snow, Snow's a little worried, obviously. So yeah, that could, um, you know, if that is the case, that could definitely attract some unwanted attention. Uh-oh, so someone screwed up. Report the ship in question as six mass. Pirate brand new. Do -do -do -do. Okay. <laughs> All right, so that uh, th this whole uh, line of dialogue definitely comes into uh, well, it, was, it was well, I, I'd say it's well written exactly. So basically, Glenn obviously Glenn's the commander of the the knights there, and uh, he has been swayed by Lord Vingerhut to send Snow uh, or make Snow captain on this uh, this mission. Uh, you know, under the pretense that the mission wasn't going to be too difficult. This should have been a, a pretty easy, um, you know, transporting of, of invaluable item to well, some spices. You know, I guess, I don't know if that's, I don't know if I'd necessarily consider that invaluable or not, but, um, you know, the, uh, the misconception was that these, these, uh, these items uh, were not huh? of any value, the and uh, obviously that is not what we are transporting. So. Alright, what do we got going on here? Looks like we're taking some fire. Poor Snow's arm. Captain, we're under, we're under fire. fire. Your order, sir. The pain. I, I can't. I can't. All right. So here we've got. Sir. Captain. Snow. I don't know. I'm not to say. Snow is um. Not doing so hot as a commander, obviously, here. Return to port, full speed. Captain, if we do that, the 
Our trade ship will sink for so, all right, okay, so we were uh, supposed to be transporting another ship, I guess, is what we were. Are you saying we're going to flee and abandon our mission? All right, let's fight. So, um, okay, again, so Snow obviously is kind of cracking under the pressure. He's, you know, he just wanted to return to port. And, uh, the main character stepped up and said, hey, we need to fight these guys. What do you think you're doing? Because, I mean, obviously, our mission was to protect this other ship, basically to, uh, you know, to escort the other ship. And Snow just wanted to turn tail and run. And so, uh, the, the, you know, the, the main the, character the, the ship is says, hey, we need sink. to fight. And obviously, Snow's a little taken back by... A little taken back by the uh, the main character's decision to stay and fight, and then Snow sees the life raft. All right, so here we are. Uh, second naval battle of the game against pirate Brando. Brando? Brando? I don't know. It's a pretty badass name. All right, let's see who we assign here. Oh, I have, okay, so yeah, we don't have access to Tal and uh, Kenneth and whatnot here. But it looks like I assigned Knight, Knight 2, which has a Earth Rune Cannon, and let's see who else we do here. Three for the water. Okay, so, um, okay, what do they have? The other, en the, the, the two enemy ships have what appear to be a fire and a lightning. So, uh, yeah, we'll see here what I end up doing. Alright. Let's move over. Fire on this guy right away. Use earth. <coughs> and I can't remember if... I, I'm guessing it's earth that is, uh that wins out against the lightning and then I'm sure it's water that that wins against a uh yeah, we'll find out here. So yeah, the lightning is firing on us, so we're gonna use earth. Yeah, it looks like Earth uh Yep, Earth beats out lightning. And then here unfortunately they're gonna be able to shoot at the the rear of our ship. Although it, it doesn't look like they did. Maybe they did here. We'll see after this this attack finishes. Okay. Alright, so let's move, I assume. There we go. We'll fire that water cannon. There you go. They should have gotten a ta an attack off on our on our rear there, and then we wouldn't have been able to return fire. But I guess they didn't for whatever reason. I'm not sure why. Let's return. No, they're firing again. Let's use that same water. You know the the rune cannon affinities are what really make these these naval battles really easy. You know, once you learn. Once you learn, I guess, how to how to set up correctly. That's and that's the the name of the game is your setup. You know, there's a there's a little bit of you know moving tactically, you know, so that you, you make sure that they don't try to board you because when they board you, some of those battles can actually be quite difficult to win. Um, that is, if you let them board you. So uh, you know, again, that can be that can be a bit dangerous letting them board. My apologies, All right. Master Brando. Looks like I was the only one who got to have so here fun. Here we've got Brando and uh, and his assassin, which that guy just looks creepy as heck.
All right, so it looks like we've got a little, um, a little, what, what is this, a Gaian soldier or something like that helping us out. And, uh, I don't, do we actually get to control him? Wow, and what's the deal? You don't, he doesn't even have a portrait? That is weird. That is, that is really weird. Okay, so it looks like I used that guy's wind rune just to put him, put, uh, put them both to sleep. And uh, that's definitely a good idea, you, you know, if you can reduce the uh, the incoming damage from Brando specifically, that's what I would do. And the, the assassin goes down pretty quick, but... Oh yeah, I guess that's a, that's a pretty decent strategy. Um, being that my main character is, is, is quite leveled, you know, it made this battle quite a bit easier too and it looks like Brando's trying to heal but yeah he's gonna go down quick my character was hitting him for 40 something 40 plus so yeah all in all not a not a real difficult battle there uh, you know again though that was pretty pretty leveled surrender now the Orok trade ship has departed, and your ship has been consigned to the depths of the ocean. All right, so the trade ship got away, hmm. so you're and, <laughs> and we sunk their ship. Really got guts picking a fight with the knights, <coughs> but you'll regret that decision in the afterlife. <laughs> Master Brando. <laughs> All right. There he's. Brando's doing something here, and obviously the assassin is pretty afraid of what he's about to do. Fools, run! Huh? Run away! Quickly! We'll be turned Quickly, to we'll ash! Be turned to ash. Uh -oh. yep. Okay. Main character's protected by something. <clears throat> Is that snow? <laughs> and snow jumped into the lifeboat. The ship, the ship. Incredible. So you decided to just abandon your ship? I I know, but my arm, my arm wouldn't move, don't you understand? Well, it looked like his arm was moving just fine there. He was rowing the rowboat, right? Otherwise, he kind of would have been rowing around in circles. Coward. What kind of captain leaves his men in order to save himself? All right. So obviously, Glenn is not happy with Snow here. Nor should he be. <clears throat> this is pointless. Don't die. Don't die. Make me not die. Glenn, if that's your real name. All right, so Brando's obviously a bit alive. surprised that the main character is still alive. <clears throat> Will you be next? Will you be next? This marks the end for you too. All right. So here's some interesting dialogue. You'll be dead in an instant. Now. All right, and here's your typical um, the typical duel here. So it looked like yeah, Brando is gonna use his special, so I chose to guard and do full power. Yeah, and I had more than a half shot him. Oh boy. All right, man. Um, 
<clears throat> you know, again, being that my being that my main character is fairly leveled, I did quite a bit of damage with that one attack. And then it looks like if I didn't Yeah, it looks like if you use the attack command while while he he uses uh, attacks, they just um uh, nothing really happens. I will settle this. Whoa. Wow, so that first attack at full power, that did a ton because, you know, now I've guarded in. Anyway, that should do it though. Oh wow, yeah, no, still not. <coughs> Alright. Looks like we finished off Brando there. <laughs> Please. Is that a rune? That pattern. All right. I don't know if anybody else has played any of the other games, but you know, usually. Usually one of the runes is pretty bad news. Now, now I'll be, I'll be free. free. Actually, I take that back. Um, Su Suikoden 2 had a, you know, the main character ended up with kind of like a healing, like a healing rune. So it wasn't like your typical, you know, uh, in Suikoden 1, McDole gets the the soul eater, you know, and that's usually pretty bad news. It, you know, it absorbs souls. Uh, and here it looks like these are the... There's three souls there. And those are important, you know, if you've, uh... If you've played through the, the game, I won't really... I won't, I'm not going to give anything away, but... Those Commander, three souls are there right? are definitely important to remember. Uh, this one, gosh, now, you know what, it's been so long since I played this again. Now, I, I don't actually remember the name of this rune anymore. Um, but I guess that will, <laughs> it'll definitely be revealed here in a little bit. But, uh, I guess same kind of, uh, same kind of, uh, issue, I guess, with, uh, with the Soul Eater, you know, in that it... It uh, it kind of I don't know absorbs absorbs souls. Uh, I guess it does work a little bit different uh, than the soul eater in that uh, usually usually the soul eater absorbed the souls of of people around it and not necessarily the you know the user. Um, so and then this one you know unfortunately uh, actually absorbs the soul of the the person that it that it uh that it's on i guess or is attached to um <laughs> there's snow again in the in the little lifeboat i guess we're on our way to pick him up yeah all right, that is going to uh, bring this video to a close. Like, comment, subscribe uh, if you want. Otherwise, I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the videos, and uh, join me for more. All right, thanks for watching.